Well, complete with a drive in movie, Salty's barbecue cooking up, a NASCAR experience, and much more. The third annual Cruising for Charity Car Show is bringing out hot rods and classic cars to the streets of downtown Bakersfield, all supporting local nonprofits. But some local businesses a little worried about how the big, the big event may impact them this weekend. 23 ABC's Noel Lilly met with both organizers and business owners to explore the three day event. The 2019 Streets of Bakersfield Cruising for Charity is a chance for car enthusiasts and newbies alike to celebrate their love for vintage wheels and give back to a good cause. This is just something that's unique and different. We do it once a year. Uh, you're going to see if you've got kids, the kids are just going to go wild. The three day event is in its third year and gives back to local charities like the Boys and Girls Club of Kern County and Kern County Honor Flight. It's probably the largest car show that we do uh, in the area and then it's the only one that we do where we're actually shutting down streets and doing it in the streets and not at like a fairgrounds or uh, at a regular parking lot. But some local businesses say the street closures and location aren't necessarily good for business. So I just would think that a little more consideration maybe by the planning commission or whoever you know the city that does the permit say hey we like this event but you know it might serve you better to have the event at this place or move the day. Chef's Choice Noodle Bar is even closing completely due to how difficult the street closures from the event made business in previous years. This is a 12 hour closure and I, again I don't know why it's necessary to close to, uh, such an extended period of time and again talking about the venue itself you know, be, you know we hope that they're sensitive to the fact that you know a big road closure impacts everything. But founder Tony Castiglione says the event is willing to work together with local businesses. I would love to sit down with them and help them understand that uh, as a business owner, I want them to learn how to capitalize on the event rather than look at the negative side of, of the event. And business owners do acknowledge the benefits events in the downtown area can bring. We don't want to give the impression that we don't want any kind of exposure or events, especially charity events, to be very sensitive to all the different um, impacts that these types of long event creates. And that was Noelle Lilly reporting. The event kicked off tonight, but it will continue this weekend on Friday and Saturday. If we have more information on the streets that will be closed, there are several downtown. We have that map right now on our website. Turn to 23.com. Well, the good news about this weekend, Josh Sanders joining us now in for Alison Gargaro, is that, Josh, uh, this forecast, I don't think we can get much better than uh, what we'll see coming up. Oh, yeah, we're going to be cruising into the weekend with sunny conditions, sunny and stable conditions, some weather headlines going forward. We're going to have a warming trend that's going to begin as high pressure moves into the region and also possibly seeing some 80s next week, which would be the warmest temperatures we've seen in the last three months. That's because high pressure is moving through. We were having storm after storm after storm, bring uh, rain and, and snow into the mountains, uh, but now drying out as we're going into next week. This high pressure system moving through Saturday into Sunday, you're going to see that big jump in temperature. Right now, air quality is still staying in that good range, AQI of 50. So we've jumped two points from where we were yesterday at 48. Tomorrow should be a good day to get outdoors. Uh, go for a run, enjoy the outdoors again before.